what's good YouTube welcome back to my channel um, on, on the previous video we went all the way back and we started working from downloading the text editor that you're gonna need to write JavaScript so I spent two videos explaining that so from the moment you download the text editor to the time you create your files so moving back to current times we're gonna go back and continue the journey of the conditionals, which is the if, the if, the else if, else statements. Now there are other conditional statements, like the switch and you know the tenary operators, but we haven't touched that yet, so we're not gonna we're not gonna worry about that right now. But what we are gonna do is we're gonna go back to those if and else, and this time I'm gonna focus on doing those conditions using the dom or the document object model and which is the web browser so i mean let's not waste any time so let's go all right check it out so we're so we're here at this page and you already know the first thing we got to do obviously is we got to get the script tag in underneath the body so we're going to do that right now All right, let's hit the save button. We gotta make sure that it's saved. And then let me just go in here and write a quick, hit that save button. Make sure everything is typing correctly. Hmm, what happened to my, oh, it's not there no more. So here we go. Let me just open this really fast. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do some if else statements, but we're gonna use this instead of the console log and putting everything inside the the console of the web browser. So we're gonna use the actual web browser itself to display the message about whatever we're gonna do right now, and that is we're gonna we're gonna start coding, and you're gonna see it as I code. So let's go. So, obviously we already tested the console.log, it's already working, so the first thing I'm gonna do is, let me get rid of that, and I'm gonna create a, a message to the web page asking for the years of employment at this company that I'm working in, and I don't know what that is, so I'm just gonna start out with a var, calling a, calling a variable, and I'm gonna call this var um, years or year years and I'm going to equal this to prompt remember the prompt method I talked about in the previous video so if you don't know what a prompt is I suggest you to go back to my videos um, and I'll talk a little bit more about that but we're gonna say prompt and I'm gonna put in this message I'm gonna put enter years at startup so that's gonna be the the prompt message and then we're gonna check it obviously we're gonna save and check make sure that when it runs in the in the web browser then the first thing we see is that prompt message so let's refresh this all right cool so the first thing you see is the the prompt message and the page says enter years at the startup right now you can't do nothing you can put any number in there but nothing happens we haven't done anything to it but we're gonna do that. we're gonna take care of that right now so the first thing we're going to do is we got to come up with a conditional statement because we have to give the program and instructions on how many years you've been working here versus, well, how many years you've been working here to compare what your salary is going to be in for that particular amount of years. And as the year increases, that salary is going to go up X amount of dollars, et cetera, et cetera. So the first thing I'm going to say is I'm going to say if um years is minus two close parentheses oh well obviously there's open and close parentheses inside the conditionals remember that so if years is less than two then you're gonna create a block of we're gonna create another block so you can write some code in so in inside this block so you've been working here for less than two years and you can say um we're gonna say document dot write 
because we're going to put everything in the browser. And then we're going to say, we're going to put your salary remains at, I don't know, we don't have anything right now. So let's say starting salary working at this startup will be 50,000. So we're going to put var salary is going to equals, you know what, let's take it back. We're going to put initial salary because I like to be descriptive equals 50,000. I think that's 50,000. Yeah, okay. Right. <clears throat> so if years is less than two, then document.write, your salary remains at initial salary. Now, the reason now, if you don't, if you can't remember from the previous video, I'm saying initial salary because I want to call this 50,000. That's why I put this initial salary. Also, I also want to put this in H2 element tags. That's gonna it looks like it's gonna be correct. So let's save it. And then I'm gonna refresh the page. See what it's looking like. Alright, so if I put one year, it should say my initial salary. Okay, good. It says your salary remains at fifty thousand. Good, that's what I want to see. Now we're gonna add like another if statement to add a different behavior to the program, if I must say. So I'm going to say again, if years are greater or is greater than or equal to three, let's say three years. Okay. So we're going to say in this block of code, we're going to create a new variable called salary increase. So I'm going to say var salary increase. And I'm going to equal that to 2,500. Let's just say that after three years there, your annual salary will, will jump up from 50,000 to an additional 2,500 on top of that. So let's just say that. So let's do that. And then after that, after that line, I'm going to write a document.write method. So we can make the message appear at the web browser. So it'll say document.write. And then I'm going to put this in H2 elements again. And then um, I'm going to say your salary. Actually, no, I'm take it back. I'm going to say congrats. Your salary has increased by, and the name of the variable, salary increased. Right, okay, so if I did this correctly, which I hope I did, then if I'm, if I'm gonna put anything above a two, no, I'll take that back. I'm gonna, instead of a three, I'm gonna make it a two. So I'm gonna put two here. So anything up two and above, then my salary has increased by 2,500. That's the behavior that I'm looking for right now. So we're gonna save it and we're gonna check it. So let's check the, let's refresh. So if I put one, obviously it's gonna say my salary remains at 50,000, right? But let's refresh again and let's put in three years. Okay, good. So it says, congrats, your salary has increased by 2,500, right? Okay, good, so that's working. So let's go back into the code. And then I'm gonna add another document.write message. And then here I'm gonna create another variable. I'm gonna call it var new salary. I'm going to equal it to 50,000 because that's the initial 50,000. And then I'm going to say plus your additional 2,500, right? So you can get some, some sense of arithmetic going on here in this, in this variable. So I'm going to put your annual salary has increased to 2,000. New salary. And if I did that correctly, it should say my new salary if I type, if I input a number two and above. So let's save it. Let's run the code. Let's go to the browser, refresh the page. 
All right, so I'm gonna put three years. Okay, cool. So it says here, congrats, your salary has increased by 2,500, and then your new salary has increased to 52,500. So that's what I want to see. So that's a good thing. So moving on, moving on. So all right, let's say if you work, if your years are three years, I would say let's say four years and up, right? So let's say your salary is gonna stay the same. But you're gonna get an extra. You have a stock option of X amount of dollars, right? So let's do that. So <clears throat> I'm gonna say if years is greater than or equal to four, then I'm gonna say var stock option, and I'm gonna equal that stock option to one thousand dollars or one thousand, right? And then I'm going to put here some document that write methods so we can have a message, you know, being displayed at the web browser. And, and it's going to say document dot write. Let's put it back in H2 elements again. Put new salary. Okay. And then I'm going to put another document dot write method message underneath that. And as this is going to say document dot write. You have a you have earned a stock option of stock option. Okay, so what it's saying down here is that if your if your years is um, is greater than or equal to four, then your salary will remain the same at fifty two five hundred. And however, you have earned a stock option of a thousand dollars. That's pretty much what the message displays, right? So if we're gonna save it, we're gonna check it, check the browser, we're gonna refresh it. And we're going to put five years. Good. Cool. So it says, congrats. My, my salary has increased by 2,500. And it displays my new annual salary at 52,500. My salary will remain at 52,500. I need to put a space right here. So, But I have a stock. I have earned a stock option of $1,000. So it, it's all checking out. So if I go back in here, I have to fix this right here, make that space. So when I when we run the code again in the web browser, that space will be there. So we're going to do an else statement right now. The else statement is going to be else, very simple. Um, it's going to be a very simple else, and I'm going to say an alert method. Remember the alert? We talked about it a couple video go, uh, videos ago as well. So if you're not familiar with it, I suggest you go back and watch so you can see what it is. So we're going to say alert. And we're going to save it. Now, if it checks out, if I put in anything but a number, it's going to give me an alert message asking me to put a number. So let's check that out. So I'm going to save it. And I'm going to put Nick. And I'm going to hit OK. And then there it goes. My alert message says enter year number. Okay, so that disappears. So if I enter six years, I have everything that I need back up again. And you can see now that I fixed that spacing issue right there. So now everything is checking out. So that's this is if and else statements, you know, using the, the web browser instead of using the more of the terminal or the console. To see to display your messages now uh, your message now we're gonna have now what I did is just gave you a, like a more realistic sense of how how a web page you know would work when it comes to conditional or decision making or algorithms whatever you want to call it whatever you want to call it so this concludes this port this portion of the video so deuce. oh wait I forgot to tell you. Don't forget to like my video. And if you like my content, subscribe to it. Peace.